Alright, Shalom, Wa Ashar Shabbat to the hopeful elect of the nation of Yasha Allah, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as these speckled birds. You, is, you are the children of Israel, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. So, first and foremost, Kao Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors have just been sent out to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone GMS alongside the elders and bishops who rule and teach well through the spirit enough respect peace blessing salutations to the Akim pushing this 100% gospel good news across the four corners of this world risking the life for Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai sake Adawan Ratza which means Lord willing you know so Lord willing this lesson is edifying and short okay so uh, the topic of this lesson is uh, it's going to touch on a few verses in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9 which is verse 1 through 4 and then get some precepts along the way through the spirit so uh, <clears throat> it reads he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before okay you know this is what the angel Uriel all right Awaya Allah said unto prophet Edris all right okay you should be in the spirit all right of measuring the times diligently in itself all right, as a Hebrew Israelite from your perspective tribe, all right, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, or Native Americans, all right, you know, we've got to look at the prophetic signs and the current events, all right, that's taking place on earth, and there's so much that you can't keep up, okay, which proved that we're at the end, that this man's kingdom, you saw Edom, so-called white man, all right, and you know, we link up the current events, what's taking place, we link that up with prophecy, with the scriptures of the Holy Bible and the Apocrypha. Alright, that's how we gauge where we are in Bible prophecy and the times that we're living in, as it's very close to the end of the world. Alright. We saw Edom's rulership. Okay. And you know the world I'm referring to is a certain time period or age. Alright. Alright, because that Greek word for that specific world there is eon. Okay. Meaning a certain time period and age. Alright. Because remember, the scripture says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. I'm like roughly paraphrasing. Okay. So uh, let's get a precept in there. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 4. It reads one generation passeth away and another generation cometh but the earth abideth forever okay so the earth is not going to be completely destroyed all right so with the thermonuclear destruction that's coming world war three okay various parts of the earth will be you know will be rocked all right and, and destroyed but not the whole earth all right babylon the great is going to be completely destroyed all right lake of fire all right and the land of israel is going to be destroyed too Alright, and certain parts of the earth will be, you know, destroyed, but not the whole entire planet. Alright, because fire is a purifying agent. Okay. So let's get back to second edges. Chapter 9. Alright. And verse 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is already visiting the world which he made via his judgments. Okay, we can prove this by going to the book of Psalm chapter 9, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, Psalm chapter 9, verse 16. Okay, which reads, The Lord Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higai and Salah. Okay, so famines, pestilences, death, in whatever manner that the Lord sees fit to plague people with, okay, even terrorist attacks, right, that's all judgment from Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, that's him visiting the earth which he made, and judging the inhabitants of the world, okay, so if we go back to second edges, again, chapter 9, and read verse 1 and 2 again, Verse 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, 
and we can see that a lot of you know judgment being played out man earthquakes things of that sort all right but you know specifically when the lord makes his second return okay when the lord actually comes back the second time all right he will exact righteous judgment and deliver his elect all right out of the nation of yashallah okay when yahweh gives yahweh the green light to crack the skies <coughs> crack the skies come back all right put an end to this man's wicked kingdom okay because he's not coming to meet the other man all right when he comes back to lay all Esau's Edom's plans to waste all right deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel okay there'll be no more <laughs> wickedness ruling again no more the nations coming up so let's go to uh, Isaiah uh, what is it? 47. Jump straight to verse 3. And it reads, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yes, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Right? So, <clears throat> you know, he's going to come back as a conquering lion of Judah, man. Alright? He's not going to come peaceful. Like these Christians like to say. Alright, he's coming back with a sword. Sword represents destruction. Alright? You know, and this is what we're prophesying, man. Right? We're in the spirit of prophecy and prophesying, which is the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Can't beat prophecy. So uh, let's get back to second edition again. Chapter 9. We'll read verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Alright, and that's, that's happening like, constantly. We already know about the t uh, Syria and Turkey earthquake. All right, we see a lot of uproars already. All right, tornadoes, all right, tsunamis taking place, and just googling earthquakes, man. There's so many that you can't even keep up with. All right, and you know the uproars of the people. <laughs> that's, you know, that's on a whole time high. Okay, just look at the strikes that took place all of last year, 2022, which is still continuing right up to this time, right up to now. All right. Verse 4 Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the, uh, even from the beginning, right? Because Yahweh Shem Yahshai set these things up and ordained them from the beginning, alright? Let's get uh, Romans. Bear with me, what am I doing? There you go. <laughs> Romans 15 and 4 and that reads for whatsoever things were written aforetime all right before time in the past were written for our learning that we through patience all right and patience means to suffer all right that we through suffer through suffering and comfort of the scriptures might have hope okay that's why you know we learn from <coughs> what's taken place in history in the past all right and we know that history repeats itself because there's nothing new under the sun all right nothing new under the sun so i'm gonna get the last precept and then in fact <coughs> i'll read the last verse of second edition chapter 9 verse 4 again and then get the last precept and then close out or verse 3, Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 3 Therefore when there shall be seen of the earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world Then shall thou well understand that the Most High Yahweh spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning Okay You know, and as we're approaching the end of this man's society This wicked devil Esau Edom Okay It's just going to be more and more strife Alright, more and more evil times Taking place Bear with me. It's the book of First Peter, chapter four, in verse seven. But the end of all things is at hand. Be you therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Let's get that in the NLT. Okay, so First Peter, chapter four, verse seven. 
In the New Living Translation, it reads, The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Okay. So, hey, now how, how should we be in these last days? Okay. Now you've got to trust in your Habashim Shai, have that faith. Alright. Stop following the ways of this world, this society. Alright. Be separate from it. Okay. Not be carnally minded. Alright. Fast and pray. To your Habashim Shai, Repenting. That's key. Alright. Let's get the word uh, sober in Greek. That's good to me as well, since I'm saying it, right, first and foremost. So the Greek word for the word sober is... Strong G, 4993, Sofraneo. Sofraneo. Alright, so it goes into to be a sound mind, alright, sound healthy. Okay, got to teach the right doctrine. Okay, got to be teaching wayward doctrines, especially right now. Alright. Okay, don't fall into temptations and lust of the flesh. Alright, you're not to be in one's right mind to exercise self control. Okay. You know, because again, we're, we're just, the spirit is against the flesh, man. The contrary to one another, warring. Spirit, the spirit is righteous, but the flesh indeed is weak, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. Alright. To put a moderate estimate upon oneself, think of oneself soberly to curb one's passions alright you know you don't want to be out here partying being in mirth and not caring about anything because judgment again is playing out okay again repenting praying and fasting depart from the wicked ways of this society right there's not too much time left here okay so yeah I don't want to rouse out this festival uh, edifying to the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel Again, double honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone who rule and teach this nation well through the Spirit. In closing, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash. With that, Kwam Yasharala, Wa Abad Ball, we got next, Lord willing. Alright, stay comforting, you know, through the, through the scriptures, through the words. Pray for the elders and apostles and for one another. Okay, keep pushing, keep striving, keep the faith. Alright, because there's not much time left. So with that, Shabbat Shalom to the elect.